Okay. So you should be able to see my presentation now. Yes, I can see it. Okay. So essentially, you know, uh, today we are going to talk about an uh, introductory level of what Informatica as an ETL tool is capable of doing and what are the different uh, functionalities it offers, a bit of architecture and different tools that Informatica as a corporation or as a company sells in the market. Okay. Okay. So I would first talk about you know, one of the Gartner studies that happened uh, in recently like in year 2008 where they were trying to assess how Informatica is placed in the market along with its competitors in the ETL space. Mm -hmm. So they it turned out that Informatica and IBM, so IBM also has a product called Data Stage. So okay. these two were the only companies who were leaders in it and who were doing fairly well. The rest, you know, you would have a lot of them, challengers, you know, in that sort of segment, you had just two of them, which were which were good enough to give them neck to neck computation. Okay. As like business objects and pervasive. The rest, you have a lot of them, but then they are not a match for what DI in Informatica or Data Stage does. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so this is one of the important slides, interestingly. Uh, you know, most of the people here, uh, when they work on Informatica, all they understand is that Informatica has a single tool available in the market called Power Center. But then that's not true. Okay. Power Center is one of their main products uh, out of the suit that they uh, provide, which is capable of doing ETL. But then you have a lot of others. So like if you talk about uh, your Power Center itself, it has two flavors, a standard edition and an advanced edition, which they call it as PCAE. So there are just a couple mm -hmm. other options uh, that are there for administrators, but that makes it different. Then they have a big umbrella of brand called Power Exchange. So within that, they have three different tools. So the first one, they have a Power Center Connect. So if someone buys this licensed software separately, you are able to connect directly to a lot of systems. Like straight away, go and hook on to mainframe to read data. You connect to SAP systems, SAP R3 systems, TIPCO, Tivoli. So all these are different connectors that it has. Okay. Then it also has a change data capture or CDC in short what they call for. Uh, you could take CDCs like this, no? And nowadays people are trying to implement these real-time solutions in data warehouses. For real-time mm -hmm. what they need to do is any information that changes onto the source side, they need to capture it real-time at that very moment and process it onto their target sites. To do that there are two options. One is, you know, you just keep going to the source system, keep pinging or polling it after, let's say, every frequent interval of 10 minutes, saying that, have you got something new for me to process? Or the other mm -hmm. one is, install CDC on that system, and then whenever a change happens in the database, Informatica will automatically inform you. So the way it works is, this tool is capable to read the database transaction logs. So the moment a transaction happens, it reads the transaction logs, comes to know of a new change and will pass it on to you. So here, you know, okay. when I say you, it means power center. And then mm -hmm. power center can process that. So that's the second tool. Okay. Then they also have a complex data exchange wherein you can try and, comp sorry, wherein you can try and uh, exchange the data between different formats. So you could compare, you could convert a PDF to a text file or a blogging or email message to some other format like an Excel file which you could then read in power center. Then okay. version 8, they have come out with something new, that's called Informatica Metadata Manager. So though it's still trying, you know, under sort of beta releases, but it's helpful uh, where you have some metadata already in an uh, organization, maybe in Informatica, in other projects, you can do reporting on top of it. Okay. You know, it's, it's like a sort of data dictionary you have. Mm -hmm. And sure. data quality. Yeah. Okay. And then data quality and data explorer here are, again, tools which help you. Uh, you know, like first of all, if you talk about data quality, it helps you standardize the data. So like if you have, let's say, a customer's or a product's dimension across different, uh, different uh, you know, teams within the same company, like HR and operations, maybe both of them refer to the same information but with different names. So that mm -hmm. would bring up redundancy and sort of ambiguity when business users are doing reporting on top of it. So the same thing, they see two different names. So all that standardization is done using the data quality. Okay. And Data Explorer helps us to find or mine data within the organization. Or in other words, they say profiling the data. So that's discovery. Mm -hmm. 
So having said about all those tools, this is how Informatica would place them, you know, one after the another in a proper warehouse intuition life cycle. So you first have access where your power exchange comes into picture. Then you have the discovery thing where your data explorer does the task. Then you standardize the data that you have discovered and profile using data quality. Okay. And when the data is, um, you know, standardized, you use the power center to do integration and delivery. So here integration stands for transformation and delivery stands for loading. So those are the mm -hmm. two components out of ETL that we do. Okay. All right. So now if we talk about the architecture, this is how it would look like. So onto the left hand side, you have a lot of sources that Informatica can read from. To the right, you have targets. And in between, you have a power center architecture where you have different client tools. So these are the client tools that we will be working on as developers. We create some mm -hmm. mappings. So here, uh, like in, a, in Oracle, you create a PLSQL. In Informatica, you create a mapping. So using these tools, you create a mapping. You save it. Whatever you save is not first of all saved onto the hard disk, like a PLSQL package or a Cognos thing or reports like on business objects are saved onto the hard disk. In case of Informatica, whatever you create is saved into the database as metadata. Okay. So the moment you create something in the client tools out here and you say, I want to save my data, that request would force go to the integration service saying that, you know, users requesting to save the information. Integration service in turn will send that request to the repository service. Repository service will save that data to the repository database. And then communicate back to the integration service saying it's saved. And then you get that message back mm -hmm. to the client tool. So that's how the communication cycle works. All right. And as far as these components are concerned, the left, power exchange, power connect, or web services hub. These all are additional licensed add-on components. So even if they are not there, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Oh, so this was the, the version 7 architecture. The only change they have done between them is uh, they have clubbed the repository agent and repository server together, which in version 8 is now called as the repository service. Okay. And your power center server that was there in version 7 is now called as the integration service. The rest, the concepts may the same. Okay. Okay, then they have introduced a lot of new features as well in version 8, which we would go through as our course starts. So like they have a couple of new functions. They have dynamic target creation properties, auto cache, uh, parameters and variable improvements, and then you web services different license component, but then you have like data masking or workflow execution. So all these are different features coming up on these tools. Okay, so though we end here, uh, onto the my plan is to probably walk through a small and simple example showing how informatic implementation is done. I mean, how do you run things? Okay, okay. I think that would be a good idea. Yes. Okay. Be. So just hold on. Fine. So now this tool that I'm connected to is the designer tool. 
So this slide that we were just talking about, where there we had a concept of different designer tools or different client tools we work on. So this is one of the most important and essential ones where you'll be working most of the time in your developing framework. Okay. okay, I've seen this before. Oh, you've seen it before, okay. Yeah, I have actually uh, the client loaded on my machine and I, I experimented for just like maybe four hours on it. So mm -hmm. I have a lot, to, a lot to learn, but I'm a little bit familiar with the screen. Ah, I see. Okay. Huh. So, well, a formal introduction. So, designer is a tool that helps you create your ETL logic or what we call Informatica's mappings. Mm -hmm. So, your complete logic is built and saved using the designer tool. So, here I'm connected to one of the repositories. So, repository is like a sort of, you know, a central repository or central place where you go and connect. All your work is saved within a repository. Repository at the physical level is nothing but a simple database. So you could have you know, different repositories, maybe like one for development, one for QA, and one for production. Therefore, you would then have different databases. Mm -hmm. So for now, I have a plan of creating simple mapping, which would probably read as flat file and write it back to a flat file. So we'll keep it short okay. for now. So, so I have a lot of source files here. I think I'll try and read one of the employee files. Okay. So it has just a couple of rows here. So mm -hmm. we first have to, you know, uh, import this uh, definition into Informatica. So what happens is Informatica does not know that a file is existing here. So like in your Oracle, you would have to create a PL SQL loader sort of thing. Uh, similarly here, you would have to create first of all a file definition so that Informatica recognizes what's the structure of the file. Okay. Okay. So to do that, here you have a lot of tools available. The first mm -hmm. six tools that we're talking about, I'll be first using a tool called Source Analyzer. So Source Analyzer is a tool that helps us to... Now, once you create a source, it can be used in multiple mappings, correct? You yes. create the source one time? Yes, absolutely. So it's a reusable definition. Once you create it, you could just simply drag and drop or reuse across different mappings. So you don't have to do okay. it every time. Okay. Right. So you go to the sources, you have a lot of options here again, since, uh, just hold on call, uh, there's someone calling me up, hold on. Okay. that okay now since our file you know I was saying our source is based on a flat file I'll be mm -hmm. using this option import from file okay. then here you have to locate or you know give it the path of the file so I say it's my employee file mm -hmm. so I click on OK it will automatically pop me through a simple wizard so for now I'll be using a couple of quick options which we'll talk in detail later but for now okay. still as an information uh, this file also contains a header so if you see here where mm -hmm. my mouse is placed, the force line is in head record. So I would click here saying import field names from the first line. Mm -hmm. So it automatically picks up the names from the first line. From the okay. second line, we starting the data. And then I skip all of this. I click on finish. And yes, and I get my source definition created called employee. Mm -hmm. Then I move on to the tools called mapping designer, where I design the ET logic. Now in the mapping designer, all I do is I would simply drag and drop mm -hmm. this employee that I just imported on the left hand side mm -hmm. and drop it to the mapping designer. Right. So it will first ask me for a name. So I give it a name. Right. Yeah, so we wrote a name to the mapping. And then this is what you see. So to the left hand side, mm -hmm. in green color, what you see is a source definition which you just imported. It's read only. Mm -hmm. And it automatically right. associates a definition with a transformation which it calls a source qualifier. So this is what you have here. Source qualifier is the main transformation that helps Informatica to read data from any source, databases, tables, files, anything. Okay. Okay. Then, since we are just trying to read and write it back, I will be creating a target here. So since I was talking about on this slide, there's a new option in Informatica called dynamic target creation in version 8. 
So you do it like this. You click on any transformation. 